My name is Camelia Akami Keys, and today we are going to talk about how to play a shout beat. We are not defeated. We are triumphant. We got the victory. How to play, you know, fast in church when people start shouting. <laughs> It's called a praise break or it's called uh, shout music. Um, so uh, to get into the mindset of what's happening um, when you possibly get offered to play a gig at a church and it's, you know, uh, kind of like a Pentecostal vibey church, you want to be able to get in and act like you know exactly what you're doing. <laughs> So first things first, to do a praise break on drum set, you have to know that what the snare and kick are doing. The snare is going one, two, three, four. It's on the ands. One, one and two and three and four and. And your kick drum is on all four. So they're going back and forth. One and two and three and four and. Um, it could be, it can vary in tempo. I would say start slow, um, just to kind of get the feel of it. But uh, it's it has to be. It's a very up tempo um, beat for basically you know fast praise dance. But uh, yeah, practice it slow at first. So it's just. This takes a lot of endurance just to do this. So um, in a lot of churches, they have um, like stems, backing tracks, where they'll have like the whole clap going on. And it'll be like a, like a tambourine. Tick, 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 and it'll be like. <laughs> so it'll be doing the claps. One, and two, and three. And, and then so it gives the, the drummer and the other musicians a little more flexibility to kind of work away from that. But the foundation of the beat is this. Start building. And build, 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 build. So the ride pattern is kind of mimicking what the uh, the keyboard is doing or the other musicians, but it's like this. While you're still doing the, the, the basic. So basically, if you just practice bass, snare, bass, snare, mimicking the clapping, and then eventually you move in the eighth notes. So you start doing the hi hat. And now you sparsely put these in on the snare. Okay, so now we are going to take a look at what we just learned and see how I'm applying it to an actual church service, an actual praise break. Um, there's people shouting, there's people clapping, 
on the one and two and okay and two and three and four and and then I'm also doing that on the snare my kick is on each one two three and four and then you hear me doing a ride pattern that's all stuff we went over and that's all stuff that I'm applying to an actual uh, praise break you may also hear me filling doing fills in between the normal beat that just kind of helps uh, add to the overall so I was pretty much raised uh, from when I was a little, very little girl, five years old, I was sitting in church. And um, next thing I know, uh, you know, someone's feeling the spirit, the Holy Ghost. <laughs> You might just, you know, somebody might be testifying, you know, sharing an, uh, an event that may have happened. And next thing you know, you look over and this person is, is shouting. <laughs> you know? And then, so what happens? The, the band, the drummer has to immediately know that this is time to break into this beat, which is basically like, so the snare, is very important. Ah, 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 ah. One, and two, and three, and one, cut, 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 cut. Hey, so your pace is doing one, your snare's on the end, one, and two, and two, and two, and um, and then you can get into the ride pattern. Boom, cut, ding, 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 ding. So it's like, if you listen to the music, um, listen to different shout breaks, I'll give lots of examples. And um, yeah, just put yourself in the mindset, you know, of being in church, um, people gathered. <laughs> kind of just have to kind of like start visualizing and and thinking about it okay because it kind of just it happened <laughs> next thing you know you're into it and um people are shouting and you just gotta know as a drummer that you need to dive right in and you gotta know exactly what to play <laughs> So this is Isaiah Johnson on drums. And as you can see, he's keeping track of the one and two and the whole bass drum, snare drum pattern, but he's building. That's right. He's building on that foundation. So here you see Isaiah is doing a like Tom type of uh, beat, but he's always keeping track of the boot cut to cut to, you know what I mean? So, um, I learned that when I was a little kid in church, and I was just watching, and you know, bass player knows what to do. Uh, guitar player knows what to do, um, piano, keys, everyone knows what to do when the, the praise break, shout music starts, okay? Sometimes there's a click track. So now, I'm gonna jack these brothers. I'm gonna steal the organ cord to the melody and the stick. And I'm gonna steal that track to bury it. There's clapping. One, and two, and two, and one. So you, they're mimicking, people are mimicking what the snare drum is doing. One, and two, and two, and one. So, if you want to practice this, uh, get your 
kick drum, just just one dance you can do that boy. One, two, three. And sometimes it's pretty fast. So you want to make sure you work up the your your, uh, your praise big chops, gospel chops, if you will. That's kind of how that kind of gets its name is doing a shout beat and then like putting in crazy, crazy combinations between your feet and your hands. Like, it's tough, it's hard work, but I mean, it's, it's awesome to do. And uh, yeah, I hope this helps. And I hope it helps someone who may be a little bit nervous about doing a, a gig at a church. Pentecostal, you know, shouty church. Um, this will help for sure. So even in this video, you can hear the one and two and three and four and the the the, the clapping is always on the and. It's always on the upbeat, and you can hear that even in this video. Oh, my God.